you were telling the story, she'd be known for sitting on the bus. She'd be sitting there with her wide hat, and she'd have the Chinese newspaper out, and she'd just be reading it like this. And that was the image that everyone had of her. Yeah, kind of fun. brought me down here to see the house. We were going to go down to Chinatown on the way, and I said, oh, that's where my house used to be, you know, where I used to live. So they said, well, let's drive down there and have a look at it. So that, that's when I first met you, <laughs> then pe peering through the window. I didn't know you were going to invite us in, so I had a look myself. I'm a friendly guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously. You look pretty trustworthy. <laughs> You say it again, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. So you see here with the wooden windows here yeah. in the old house? We put those windows in, yeah. and we didn't even know what, what this looked like. And we oh. just kind of thought we would just kind of go with it, but it's almost identical uh -huh. to, the, to, to the way it was. Yeah. Which I think is really neat. And the couch across here and a, and a couch over here for my dad. He was always snoozing there. And that's what I say, it was amazed me when I walked through the door. The, the, the rooms are so small. There used to be a, a pot belly stove here. Keep the house warm, right here. Right here? Yeah. This is the room where most of the babies are all born in this room. The bed was this way. It was going this way? This way, yeah. And it's my mom's bed. And I slept on the cot here. So was, was there a, would you have had a closet at that yeah, time? Yeah, that closet was always there. It must be at least two, three feet longer. Because uh, there used to be a bed across there, and my whenever my mother had a lot of foster children that she, you know, fostered, yeah. the kids would stay there, and my dad was here, and there was a bathroom door there. Wow! And in the kitchen. Oh, this has really changed. Uh, that was a kitchen sink across here. Yeah. And then you have a window there. Was it, was it no, there? that wasn't there. That, that part wasn't there. Okay. No, but I mean, so it would have been a window. No there. window. No window at all? No. The kitchen sink and the door. It's so small. Yeah. No window there. But the window was here. There was a big window here. And our washing machine sat in the corner. Um, you know, this room is so small. There was always lots of coming and going on in this. There was always somebody in this house, you know. And this room used to be full of people. Wow. I don't know how they could be. It, um... Uh, it just amazes me, that song. And, and the dining room, that's where our mahjong, my mom always played mahjong, and that's oh, yeah. the mahjong room right there. I play mahjong. Do you? <laughs> Not oh. well. <laughs> she played a lot of mahjong. Well, my mom, after bringing the babies into the world, that was her relaxation. Wow. Mm. I think one of the things you liked about living in this house, though, was, was the closeness to everything. Like, two blocks up, she goes to Strathcona School. It was a close you know, community. Very, She knew everyone. Everyone knew. It was very safe. The kids were outside playing all the time. And Oh, yeah. We don't come home until the 9 o'clock gun goes, you know. Yeah. We're a whole bunch of us out there playing. There's about 15, 20 kids in the block. Every night they're all out there playing. The boys are playing marbles and the girls are playing hopscotch yeah. and skipping ropes. And, you know, we're all doing our, our thing. And as soon as the 9 o'clock gun went, boom, everybody's gone. It's just scatters. <laughs> Got to go home. It's before, you before me. Very short. She was shorter than yeah. you, right? Yeah. Short and wide. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you were there? That's not me. That's, old, that's, right. that's one of the foster kids. That's way before me. There's always kids around our house. I just find, I just, just totally amazed that that was going on in this house for, for such a long time. It's mm -hmm. amazing. 
really, really quite special. Yeah, she took a while to to really fight her way into the community, not being accepted, you know, in the Asian community, sort of being disowned by the white community, and she um, took her time, but was was successful. She was one of the first white women to marry Oriental yeah. in, in Vancouver. Yeah. Well, like I said, when I was reading about this, is that it was at the time it was illegal. <laughs> you couldn't get married. Yeah. Uh, which I think is amazing. And they got what they were married in New York State, I think. Yeah. Then they went back to China and lived there for a couple of years. My mom spoke fluent Chinese, several dialects, and she read the, the newspapers. And it's just amazing. To, I mean, I didn't appreciate things when I was little. No, <laughs> my kids would just love her. <laughs> Yeah, you were telling the story. She'd be known for sitting on the bus. She'd be sitting there with her wide hat, and she'd have the Chinese newspaper out. She'd just be reading it. <laughs> that was the image that everyone had of her. 